This is Economy Watch. What you need to know about New Zealand's economic life today. Brought to you by interest.co.nz. Kia ora and welcome to Thursday's Economy Watch where we follow the economic events and trends that affect Aotearoa. I'm David Chaston and this is the international edition from interest.co.nz and today we leave with news China's tit-for-tat retaliation against the EU might move dairy prices in New Zealand's favour, for a while at least. But first up today, we need to note that the American labour market expansion hasn't been as strong as originally reported. They have revised their data down for the year to March. Previously, the data showed a strong 3.8 million expansion in new jobs in that year to 158 million people employed. Now they say it rose 2.9 million to 157.2 million people employed. So a 1.9% expansion rather than the 2.4% expansion originally reported. Still a very healthy expansion, but not as strong as originally reported. The US Fed minutes for their July meeting were released earlier today and they showed some policymakers saw a plausible case for cutting rates by 25 basis points at that July meeting, although they ultimately held off. This bolsters the view that the Fed is about to cut in September, but something that is well priced into financial markets. The gold price seems to be the main elements showing gains now. After the prior week's strong gain, there was an equally sharp fall in new mortgage applications in the US last week, down 10% from that prior week. This came even though mortgage interest rates slipped again to 6.5% for the benchmark 30-year fixed loan. That level is its lowest since May 2023. Also falling are yields on new US Treasury bond issues. Today, the very well-supported 20-year bond auction delivered a median yield of 4.10%, compared to 4.41% yield at the equivalent event a month ago. These falling yields are turbocharging investor gains. Across the Pacific, China has set in motion some trade tariff retaliation on the EU after Brussels called out a set of subsidies by Beijing for cars and pork products and called out its human rights records. China is targeting the EU dairy products, most of which come from Germany, France, the Netherlands and Ireland. EU dairy exports to China were valued at 1.7 billion euro last year, far less than New Zealand's trade though. EU exports of dairy products have been easing lower recently, as have New Zealand's trade, mainly because of the rise of the local Chinese dairy industry. It isn't clear that this move will have any impact on dairy prices in the short term. There is probably a year to go before the Chinese actually apply their retaliation. But there could well be informal blocking at the border, just as we saw against Australian barley and wine before the formal clamps went on. The Chinese move against the EU will effectively work as a warning to New Zealand to tow China's line. High debt levels are forcing China's giant high-speed rail operator to sharply raise prices to contain a squeeze flowing from its $1.4 trillion debt built up when China's infrastructure stimulus programs were in full swing. Now users will have to pay for that, even though they're facing a broad economic slowdown again. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 3.78% and down 5 basis points from this time yesterday. And the price of gold will start today down just $2 from yesterday at $2,509 an ounce. Oil prices are down $1.50 at just on $71.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just $75.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today up almost 20 basis points from yesterday at 61.6 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're up 20 basis points as well at 91.4 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're still at 55.3 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at 69.4 and up 10 basis points from yesterday. And the Bitcoin price starts today at $59,898 and up 1.8% from this time yesterday in its recent yo yo pattern. Volatility over the past 24 hours has been modest, at just under plus or minus 1.2%. You can find links to the articles mentioned today in our show notes, and you can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow. <laughs>